some non-Arabic speaking uh, Muslims are confused about the uh, getting tempted by whom they take knowledge from. Uh, basically, the inferiority regarding, you know, learning from somebody who has knowledge and and, you know, we have those brothers, may Allah guide all of us, Ya Rabbul Alameen, who start warning people. And you, you know how it goes, especially with the uh, reverts, uh, warning them against the Mashaykh. Uh, what advice can you give, uh, Sheikh Asim, to these uh, reverts? Wallahi, the problem is that in order for you to find the path to Jannah, you have to ask Allah for guidance. Allah you guys live, live in a big vast ocean and there are so many sharks. And if you keep on fighting with your brothers over the raft you're hanging to, you're gonna be their next meal. So what you need to do is look for a proper tutor, a proper imam, a proper guide that you trust his religious practice, you trust his knowledge, and he's well versed in Islamic studies, and people acknowledge him to be a student of knowledge. Don't go for famous people like us, because we were fortunate by Allah, and at the same time tested by Allah, and given this responsibility. If we walk the talk, alhamdulillah, but if we fail, will be the bridge on hellfire for people to cross over our backs. May Allah protect us all. I mean, so you have to do your due diligence. Don't look for famous people. It is not the amount of hits a person's video gets. It's not the amounts of subscribers to his Facebook or Twitter account. If he is a religiously committed person, and you can tell, and if he is knowledgeable and the scholars acknowledge that this guy has knowledge, then follow him until you reach a level that you yourself are qualified to look into different scholars' opinions and objectively decide which one, according to your knowledge that you possess from Quran, from Sunnah, from Usul al-Fiqh, from Fiqh, from uh, Arabic language, which one is closer to the truth and you can follow it. At the moment, you cannot cherry pick. You cannot just say, oh, Sheikh Karim said so-and-so. Hmm, it sounds nice. I like it. Or Sheikh Asim said so-and-so. Yeah, this sounds a little bit uh, uh, off. No, I'm not going to take this. This is cherry picking. You have to follow an imam, whether good or bad, he will, he will be in charge. He'll be responsible. But meanwhile, you have to develop yourself, train yourself, learn more and more until you can stand on your own two feet.